Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good day. He didn't even know he was hooked. Oh boy, we got a good one here. Good gracious. That old pig. Look, these bass over there chasing. Chasing bait. Hey, they chasing bait, you can't help them. We got the cast over there. Tell you exactly where we got him at. Boom. about eight feet. Oh, hey, first fish of the day. Hey, we've been looking around today, trying to figure out a pattern on these fish. So I've came, anyway, first fish of the day. That's pushing 10 inches, nine and three quarters. Hey, what's happening, guys? Hey, got boom with me today. Boone's hanging out today, come fishing this morning. And uh, we are at Heiko Lake. Water temperature is 74 degrees. And this is post spawn. So today we're gonna go over things to look for on post spawn. Number one thing I look for is a transition area from the flats. And uh, that's what we concentrate on. So those, this time of year. So guys, stay with us. We'll go over the lures and some places I look for these fish in this post spawn series. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. You can change the colors of the lure. Look at that. What is that down there? Look. He's coming out, he wants a cracker. You want a different color? <laughs> one of the things that, we're talking about fish and transition post spawn. One of the things that makes this dock particularly good is probably the deepest dock before you get up on a shallow flat. A lot of times fish will look for those areas that they can drop back to where there's relatively deeper water, it's about 12 foot deeper. Shade, structure, you know, it's a good combination. One of the reasons that I stopped here. Ben's got one on there. A little small crap. Hey, little ones. Now, you all know me. I ain't going to stay here long if I'm catching little ones. Now, today I'm fishing that Chaos 2 bait with that big paddle tail. That is the Virginia Shad color. Good color. Good, you know, natural bait color. And this water is really clear, y'all. I think the... Uh, Spider web kept the <laughs> kept the lure from sinking. Yeah, that's getting a little bit better, y'all. Yeah, that's a good ten and a quarter inch fish there. You know, it's important too. <clears throat> you fishing these docks like this change colors you may find the color that you know a bigger fish may prefer a certain color for the simple reason that's what they're you know maybe be a forage that they're used to actually feeding them they hit it what's wrong boom you know, a lot of people, 
Um, you know, one of the reasons a lot of people use yellow line is because they can see the line jump or move, you know. And you can tell when a fish bites, you watch that line and you'll see, you'll see, turn it up this way like this. Straight down. Now, see, I'm gonna watch the line. We'll see if we get a bite. And it's a loop in the line. I don't know if you can see it. It's a loop in the line, and I'm watching for that loop to get slack or either jump. And let's see, I may even give the lure a little twitch there. And I'll pick up on the rod tip. Boom, there he is, just like that right there. So that'll give you the, if you watch that line, that'll give you the one up on a, a crappie. If you see the line twitch, set the hook. But sometimes the fish run over that mouth of the lure and spit it right back out before you can do anything. Sometimes that'll help. Just a small fry, about nine inch crappie. Nine and a quarter. Now I'm shooting because of the angle. I've got the nose of the boat into the wind, the back of the boat's right there really close. And so, so Boone can have a cast underneath the slip. You know, he can kind of side on, but you know, I'm just taking a little and holding it by the head here and then bending the rod back. Let me turn around this way, just like that right there. And I can sit here and I can shoot all the way to the back of the slip. Real simple. Boone's got another one on there. He's got a better one. Ain't cutting up, ain't it? Good gracious. Mm. Good fish. There we go. Oh, we got a California quick release on him. Yeah, good right. size. Good size cracker right there. You want it? Nah. I know we all keep him caring with that the guy down at the bridge. Coming on. You're just vertical jigging them, ain't you? Yeah, I just let it sink. Better. You know, hey, these good eating size crafty right here, y'all. That's a good uh, throw it down that face right there. Yeah. I've been, uh, they've been coming out from under there, they're hitting it. Ah, good crappy. Good crappy. Pretty crappy. They get them pretty colors in them this time of year. That crappy is 10 and uh, almost a half inch is long. Boone got a good one on now. Look at him. Doing it. Let me get this other camera on here. Boone got one on now. Well, he's cutting up, ain't he? He thinks he's bad, ain't he? Mm hmm. It's light blinking on this one on my hat. They're being rough on this chaos too bait. Now look, I'm gonna shorten that bait. Try to see the end has done got all boogered up. Boone got one on that. All right, so I bit the end of it off. Y'all don't tell Dennis you can bite the ends off. And I just shorten it up, get a little bit more life out of it. It's just a little something you can do. Keep me from having to go in my box and pull out another lure. Now I don't mind fishing another lure, but. I can catch three or four more fish with this. I'll be doing good. All right. Bringing them in two at a time, y'all. Good day. We on them this morning. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> no, that fish is nine and three quarters.
so deep it about to die. Oh yeah. Come up here to this wall here. Ah, boom. Got a spawning skull on it. That's a good crappy. A boom. You let him smack the water. You know what? He probably, I bet he got up against that thing. He rubbed the line. They ain't doing it over the wall is what I'm talking about. Look, these bass over there chasing, chasing bait. Hey, they chasing bait, you can't help it. You got the cast over there. Ah, boom. Yes, sir. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end the video. All in all, hey, it's been, we've caught a lot of fish today. Primarily, we checked some really deep places, 24, let's say 28 to 20 foot deep. Saw some small crappie, but no big ones yet. So, saw a lot of crappie around that eight to 12 foot range out in the middle of the creek channels, off the bank and under, uh, under docks. That was primarily where we saw and caught fish today. Uh, post spawn, crappie are scattered. They need to feed up after this heavy spawn that they had. We checked back in some shallow water, all small, small fish there. So uh, you got to get away from the bank to find the bigger crappie. Anyway, guys, hope you've seen something in the video you learned. Hope you've seen something in the video you enjoyed. As always, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, it's free. Hit the like button, click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water.